Hi, thanks for watching the third BMR vlog. Uh, my name is Amanda Hamilton. I am the Blue Monday Review editor in chief, and I'm going to make this short because it's freaking freaking beautiful out there, and I want to go enjoy it. However, first I have some things I need to talk to you about. First announcement is Blue Monday Review first issue, previously only available in digital format, is now available in print. In print. <laughs> this is 100% the same content, just on paper, which a lot of people seem to really dig. 85 pages of poetry, art, and fiction. Full color, good quality, it looks really, really professional, which I'm happy with beyond understanding. It's available on the CreateSpace store. Plus, this thing is going to be $12, just like the previous price of the ebook, but the ebook is now $9. I think it translates a little better in digital format. At the same time, I really want to be fair to print lovers. So $12 for the print, $9 for the electronic. Go get a copy, support these great authors and artists. The earnings are still going to go to the authors either way, so you're doing good in the literary world. The other thing I wanted to announce is that I'm opening the electronic doors for a new contest. The contest is for poetry and flash fiction and the purpose is so that I'm not only reading famous works for my vlogs. I obviously will keep reading a poem for every published issue, but I only publish three issues per year and in those interim months I want to have something to talk about. So go to bluemondayreview.com, read the contest guidelines. They're underneath every other guideline, basically. And, you know, send your stuff in. Even if it's being considered for Bloom Under Review print version, it can still be under consideration for this contest as well. Just send your stuff. Let me read it. We'll see. As usual, I want to end off with a reading. This one is Mark Leidner. Really cool cover. I love it. And the poem is called What's Cool Changes. Probably nine-tenths of people mistakenly believe they are cool. They probably believe themselves to be part of some sort of cool movement. They think that what they think is cool really is cool, but I've got news for them. It's not. It's incredibly lame. And what's lamer than somebody thinking they're cool when they're not? Not only is that thing that they think is cool lame, but that in itself, thinking you're cool when you're lame, is lame. It's the lamest thing of all. The irony is, I imagine the lamest person in the world thinks he is not only cool, but is the coolest, believing himself to be the very essence of cool. For a moment, the irony of that is cool. How he thinks he is so cool, yet is so lame? Not for very long, though. Even now, that irony is already becoming lame. Wait a moment. Now it is fully lame. So that anyone still thinking that was cool by this point, even though they were very cool at the beginning for thinking it, and the first th person to think it was briefly the coolest of all, now they're all very lame. And if the first person is still holding on to the coolness of that, and you know he is, then he is the one time has made the biggest fool of, because his luck or skill at being first to think something that was briefly cool to be cool has brought him nothing but the shackles. Shackles in the form of an overpowering urge to hold on to something long after its coolness has been spent, earning him the dubious distinction, lamest of all. What people don't realize is what's cool changes. It's a moment-to-moment, -moment, day day-to-day proposition, and only the people who realize this are cool. As soon as that is said, however, what's truly cool becomes permanent again, so that only those people, the people who have believed in the permanence of cool all along, are in the end redeemed. Soon, however, even that will change. It has already. Now, those and only those who believe what was originally cool is still cool, but not really, and are willing to alter their entire belief structures to keep pace with what's cool as it changes, are, in the end, and all alone, completely cool. So thanks for watching. Again, the print version's 12 bucks on Create Space, and the electronic version is $9 on Amazon. Grab yourself a copy, and if you're looking for something to do, send me a, you know, shortish piece for me to read on the next vlog. This has been Amanda Hamilton, and thanks for watching.